obviously friends, if you can't tell already. So Cal, pretty strong in relationships. Yeah, no love lost between the two of them. Master Mario, of course, will be playing his strongest and continuing with the Mario here, but have to see who Shini responds with. Uh, he's got a lot of characters to respond with. He's, got, he's been playing that DK quite a lot, as I can tell from recent results, but hopefully he's got something different coming up right now. As we see the Donkey Kong once more, and it remember, is. he is combo food for Mario. It is time to expand, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Going with the default Mario? Nah, he's gonna switch. He'll colors. switch, yeah. Oh, you know it is <laughs> default. And I remember uh, last time at the, I was watching a tournament, the reason that Mario has question mark and exclamation mark is for his sponsor, Pal. Yes. So don't forget that. And we got a match to cast right now. We got Sh Shine versus Master Mario and DK. Uh, remember, we talked. everyone talks about his disadvantage right now. And it's surely showing off right now with 53% already. He's able to catch out these options, but Master Mario, firing off these combos, but Shine was earlier was able to strike back hard. Yeah, not only has he does he have such a large target? He's just waiting him out there. <laughs> Not only the large target is a bit of an issue, but the fall speed is perfect for Mario's up air strings. And wanted to go for a second to potentially land a fair, but missed tech into dash attack will do instead. And he called it out. He went for the fair spike as well, but unable to find anything. Shine at a huge disadvantage right now in that Nair. He tried to drop his shield for a punish, but unable to find anything. He went for the reverse up smash. He lands the grab, though. He's able to mash out just a tap. Oh my god, the up special actually saved him. It did indeed. He was in such an awkward situation, nearly pineappled himself, but it ticked him back to that other part of the stage in that up smash as a quick jump call out. We'll do it. Master Mario sitting at 77% and sitting pretty. And he got onto the platform for the easy ding dong. Oh, goodness. Shine. Showing up exactly what he can do, strikes back with the stock, and he does have his neutral special. That punch is fully charged up and online. Yeah, pulling out the time machine for that one, the ding dong is true in a very narrow percent window for Mario, only about 10 or 12 percent or so, but one up air won't lead to a second. Mm -hmm. Not able to find anything off of that one, but it's 40 percent. He's just looking for an up air to continue his combo. He gets the reverse hit of the up air, and here comes the strings. Shine was definitely watching out for that fair because he knows that Master Mario goes for it. So instead, Master Mario extends out the combo and he rid it out. He knew exactly what he was going for. Gets the, doesn't get the sweet spot for the fair though. So no kill just yet. Yeah, just got the weak hitbox there. And even so, another up air will start it off. And Master Mario sitting at 0%. No damage registered on the second stock. Shine finally gets something with the down tilt. But one quick up smash, one read, one backward facing there. F Smash almost doing it with a bit of rage. Oh, he actually goes for the edge guard, so Shine strikes back. He's able to take a stock just like that, which is just such a good situation for him. The down air not going to kill just yet, but my goodness, that's huge for him. Yeah, that was almost a zero to death right there. Mario barely even managed to get a hit in within that 15 seconds, but the reverse hit of Up Smash just clipping Shine, and all of a sudden we are back even. He doesn't get something down. He goes for those down tilts attempts. He's got to be careful. Here comes the fireball into an easy combo. The great Tekken, though. Tech in, not Tekken. That's a good game, though. But he's going to get the grab down. And here comes the easy combos that Heat Maru is so famous for. Another back air will put Shine at 99%. Makes it back safely around this fireball barrage. But a down air won't lead to any follow up. He went for a pivot grab. He uses a cape, actually. Interesting setup. But here comes the down tilt into the back air. Shine 146. You can't cut him out just yet because this is Donkey Kong after all. And Shield looking very small. No way. Goes for the Ding Dong. That won't kill at that percent, but it will get Master Mario to 78. And now just a hard read with an F Smasher. Getting to that point where even a back air might kill. Mm -hmm. Gets the back air on Shine himself. He's going go, to try to go for a reverse up smash, I bet you. Just, just watch what happens. It might. He tried it there. Didn't connect, but that won't dissuade him. Parries the fireball and does get the reverse up smash that time. Master Mario, the higher seeded player, takes it 1 0. It's the fact that he conditioned Shine. He knew exactly. He went for it the first time, but this time Shine rolled backwards. But the second time, he threw out a fireball. And as soon as it hit Shine's shield, he got too scared of the grab attempt that was going to come out. So he tries to go for a jump. And this time, Master Mario is ready for an, a quick. Reverse up smash. Yeah, that was exactly the green light that he needed. We're going to go to town and city for game two. Interesting to see if we have any character switches 
the stage selection might suggest that. We do see the Pokemon trainer from Shine. Yeah, Shine pulling out another character of his own, but Master Mario is sitting comfortably on this Mario. Okay, game two onto Town and City. Shine with the second character of the set. Interesting to see how Master Mario deals with Squirtle. I know he struggled with Sweet Tea's Squirtle play in the past, but this is a different character in the hands of Shine. Mm -hmm. Shine's ranked. He's 19. 19? Okay. So yeah, Shine is ranked 19th, and remember Sweet Tea is ranked 16th, so he definitely still has that Pokemon trainer experience. And here comes the chains, it definitely won't kill. Master Mario actually uses up either wrong way. I don't think it would have killed anyways, but that won't do it either. But 84%. Master Mario is definitely not complaining about that. Even so, the Nair will send Mario onto that side platform, not looking to get stretched off, so goes for the immediate send back, and that might have been to his downfall there. Withdraws in. So to find his way around, he went for the grab, but the perfectly spaced F smash, the sweet spot. Yeah, Shine didn't even get the chance to bring out another character. The Vine Whip will connect, but won't send Master Mario across the stage. The up air will. Oh, and he actually interrupts the down air from Ivysaur, so Mario is able to see the life, is able to live continuously still. He went for the grab, but he faced the wrong way, unfortunately, but Shine, 44% already, he's got to be careful, and he brings out the Charizard, because he definitely just wants to finish the stock out, but he is a heavy character, and much bigger, he's got to be careful with these strings. Yeah, that large body is just going to be something that he wants, but the up smash out of shield will do it for Shine. A daring option, but one he needed to go for at that time of a deficit. Wanted to go for the fair out of just one up air that time. Mm -hmm, and he goes for the easy confirm. And the fireball actually cancels out the fair, so Master Mario gonna stay safe from it. And once more, and he caught it out again. An easy conversion to the downer, but since he's Charizard, he's able to stay alive, thankfully. Shine taking advantage of that added weight that Charizard provides. One fair, tech chases him, gets the lock, but nothing oh. harder than just a finisher. That back air almost connected. He was just pixels away from getting it. He read the roll. He knows he's going for it. And Master Mario goes for an attempt on the reversal, but unable to find anything. He crossed up the shield and then excellent up smash. He's able to take stock number two. Facing in the other direction. Now we see Squirtle coming back. Have to see how he gets away with this. Master Mario is at a higher percent. Typically you see Squirtle leave and Ivysaur come in at around 50. And at 95, we are going to see Ivysaur but into the Cyclone again. And Mario will take advantage of this. He knew that the pivot grab was coming, but Shine's there. He forces out the Charizard once more. He knows that he got, he's got to take this stock fast. And here comes the up airs. Misses the back air attempt, but number two surely does work out. Yeah, Master Mario completely in control, but that up smash on top of the platform killing a bit early. Only at 100% is Master Mario in the back air. <gasps> Did he consider a Flare Blitz? Uh, I think he was considering a back air because he got it earlier, but unable to find anything. But speaking of back air, Master Mario is forcing it off in a perfectly spaced up smash. Takes the game to, oh, Master Mario. Caught the landing and not a moment too soon. Ending one 